We are back one year later after another test series completed. Last year we did Australia versus India commentary team and now we're doing the Ashes commentary team. Australia versus England. Australia with the 4 nil win and England just, I guess, unlucky. It's, um, yeah, unfortunate but great kick cricket to watch. Especially if you're an Aussie watching that beloved series take place. Um, this this series sees a team of Adam Gilchrist, Shane Warne, Ishigua, with Mark Wall, Mark Hussey, Brett Lee, Kerry O'Keefe, Mark Howard, with Michael Vaughan, uh, Kath Loch, Lachlan, Loch, Lochnan, I apologise, and um, Alan Border, which I didn't really hear much of um, AB, but we'll include him. Um, so yeah, so that is who we are going to be doing the rankings today and standard, uh, S, A, B, C, D, and we will start off in the D section and I will instantly put Shane Warne in there. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but a big part of watching cricket is the commentary. I guess it goes for all sports as well. The big, when you're at home watching sport, what keeps you invested is also the commentary that goes on during during the game. Now there is something about Shane Warne. I don't know what it is, and I'm not the only one who uh, who thinks this. But there's just there's just something with Shane Warne that irritates me when it comes when it comes to him comment commentating. So that's why he's down there. Just ah. Uh, uh, it's, I want to say it's weird. I think it's one of those things. It's hard to explain what it is exactly, but it's just him on commentary is, mmm, fun. Uh, next we'll go, Kerry O'Keefe. Now I'm pretty sure he's only on the the commentating team to make the worst jokes ever in the history of jokes. They're like. If you take a dad joke and make their relevancy only in Kerry O'Keefe's mind, that's what I think the jokes are. Some of them are, are funny, but I, most of the time it's like, dude, really? And then you got that laugh he does where he's like wheezing. Like, really, dude? Come on, man. But, so that's where, where they are. There. Uh... We'll put we'll put A B as a C because I it's nothing against A B, it's just that I didn't really hear him, uh, which is weird considering that he's above Shane Warne, Kerry O'Keefe, but it is what it is. Uh, next, I would probably put Kath. She's oh not there. She would be a C. Um, again, she's not doing anything wrong. Uh, she's mainly a uh, sideline commentator, giving updates on injuries and all that. Um, so, particularly, she's not doing anything wrong. But I just, yeah, I'd say that's that's where she she is. Um, next, we would go in the B section, which I would put my cussy in, and uh, yeah, I would put my cussy in, and I'd say Brett Lee as well. Now these two, these two fellas, great Aussie cricketers. Uh, they, they'd be Bradley. You, you don't hear much. I think he was only mainly in the Hobart Test. Uh, other than that, I can't really recall. It it just feels a bit off. Again, he's not doing. Uh, maybe we should put Kath. We'll put Kath in B as well. It's just yeah, and Hussey is just. Again, it's one of those weird factors. He's definitely a lot better than down here. But yeah, again, he's not he's not good. Ah, uh, sorry, he's not bad. But he's in that that middle range, so which is why I put him at B. And same with Brett Brett Lee. Um, in the B, I'd put Mark Wall. That's who I would put in in my B section um 
probably probably alongside Isha. Isha, those two though, if they weren't lead commentate, if I, well Isha is a lead commentator, but I can I can enjoy the game if like if it's just those two commentating on the game, giving analysis and um, play by play. So then, and which brings us to our top tier commentators, which you would put Gilly, Howard, and Brendan Julian. Brendan Julian's voice, how's that for a voice? Honestly, um, Gilly, great host. Um, I, th I think this series he's really stepped up into that main man role. I can't necessarily recall last year. Um, but it feels like he's stepping up into a more lead figure in the team, uh, which has been great to watch because great bloke. Mark Howard is... So what I like most about Mark Howard is when there's a wicket or a, a six or a boundary or just a great shot played in general, he has that excitement factor that he brings out that you know gets you engaged into the play and then Brendan Julian's just I, I like like Gilly as well is just that great like host type of thing I, mean, I was first listening to him when he was in the BBL I think last year before the last series or maybe it was just the BBL before Australia vs India and last Christmas but yeah enjoy Brendan Julian uh, but that is my tier list um, my S tier, Gilly, Howie, and BJ. Wait, BJ? Yeah, Brendan Julian. <laughs> BJ. Anyway, uh, uh, A tier, Mark Howard, Ishigua. I feel very comfortable with them up there. B, uh, we've got Huss, Lee, and Lochnan, Lochlan, Loch, Kath. I'll just go with Kath. Uh, like, they're, they're not, they're not, again, they're not the worst people out there, um, it's a bit hard for Kat because she is a sideline commentator, um, which is why I only put her at the B. And then you got A, B down there. Um, didn't really hear much of him. And then you got Warren and Kerry O'Keefe at D. And that is... I would never change that. Those are the two commentators that would never, 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 never leave the D tier. Anyway, that's my tier list for the Ashes commentating team for 2021-2022. If you agree, yeah, let me know. If you don't agree, let me know. If I missed anything, again, let me know. But that, again, my opinion. This is my opinion. This is what I enjoy from the game is that. Bye-bye.